when you look at the cable itself, you can see you can see from the forces that we've got five across the whole cable, and our dimensions are the same across, and you've got both C and D are both 1.5 metres below A and F. So there is some equilibrium. which means that we don't have to work out every force. So A, our AB will equal EF. Our BC will equal DE. And also our reaction at A will equal, equal the reaction at F. What you will find is that the reaction at F will be opposite the cable EF. So whatever that angle is there, if we said that was alpha, this angle would also be alpha. So if you can work out the, the reaction at F, then you could work out what EF is. And if you worked out what the reaction is at A, then that would equal what AB is. Whenever we're taking moments around a particular point, so if we, if we did take moments around F or E, you'd find that you'd be removing RF when you're cons considering the, the equilibrium equations. So you, you would tend to split RF into its horizontal and vertical components. So you've got your RF, X, are F, Y, and you've got exactly the same at A. Once again, if I was going to be going through this calc in, in the exam, I'd be first working out what the, the moments are around A, and I'd end up with a formula with RF in it. Or it'd be my RFY and RFX, because it's passing through the point of A. You would ignore RFX. So you'd have an equation with RFY, and then I would take moments around F, then I could find out what RAY would be. But then you'll be stuck. You need a third equation, and this is why you need to take moments around another point within the, the cable. Because there are no moments um, being passed through the cable, you can cut the cable anywhere, and then you can say that anything to the left of wherever you've split it, all of these forces are R, A, B, C, and because we've sliced through C, we would create a, a force there. So very similar to method of sections, so you'd have a force, force C. You could take moments around this point, some of the moments around C, you've got your B and you've got your reactions. You can take the other side and take moments around 
D in order to find out what um, RFY and RFX is. We'll take moments around C, so we'll, we'll slice it down the middle and we'll consider the, the left hand side. So we cut between C and D, and we're going to take moments around C. We'll be considering the left hand side of the cable. Again, that RA can be split into its vertical and horizontal component. We don't know that angle yet, alpha. We don't know the angle and um, beta. We know the distance down from AF down to C. Well, we've sliced through CD. We've introduced a force called H. So if I take moments around any point along CD, I will remove this force H. What we'll do, we'll take moments around C because we know the distances from C to B and C to A. So we'll say that sum of moments around C equals zero. Everything going around anti-clockwise is going to be positive. Right, we have our distance is 2.5, so we have 2.5 times by B, and then we have 5 times by, that's going to be positive, plus, sorry, minus 5 times by R A V. So it's from here. And it's the perpendicular distance to this point here. And then we have R A H. If we've got a hold of this cable here, R A H will be sending it around anti-clockwise. So you'd have plus the perpendicular distance to R A H is 1.5. times by R A H. All of that equals zero. <coughs> the force at M B is five. Sorry, I should should just put that straight in. We can also take moments around A. We'll say that everything going anti-clockwise is positive. So if we're taking moments around this point here, it removes both A, V and A, H. So it removes R, A, V and R, A, H. Then in terms of what we have left, we have our H, <coughs> and that's 
a perpendicular distance of 1.5 and that H would be taking the cable around anti-clockwise, so it'd be positive. Then we have our five and another five. So we just gotta put them in, so minus five times by the distance five minus two point five times by the five at B. All of that equals zero. And we've got two unknowns in this equation here, so we can't do anything with that. We can work out what H is. H is 25 kilonewtons. So our, our tension in CD equals 25. Hey Gary. All right. Okay. Awesome. That was wonderful. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gary. Found my doofa. So it takes a little just to get your head around the minuses and pluses. They're probably the main things that you would get wrong. And also making sure that it's the perpendicular distance when you've got a horizontal. Now with this, with this here, you can also consider um, forces horizontally. So now that we know what um, you've got 25 across there, then we know that if we if we resolved here, we've got 25, so therefore we could say that RAH is going to be 25. We could sum forces vertically. And if we said that everything going up is positive, we've got our RAV is going up. And then we've got two fives coming down. So therefore, RAV equals 10. Like I say, if we, if we sum forces horizontally, seeing that everything going to the, the left is positive, we've got our RAH. And then the other, only other horizontal force is this H. Because our H is 25. Our H is 25 kilonewtons. So looking at this reaction here, you know, we've got our AV going up, which is 10, and we've got a horizontal RAH, which is 25. So therefore we can create a triangle to work out what R A is.
So Ra is square root of 10 plus 25. So you can work out the hypotenuse. And also you can work out this angle alpha by doing the inverse tan of 10 over 25, which is um, 21.8. So that's what our alpha is. So at our, at our reaction A, we now know what RA is, that's 26.9, and then we've got this cable AB, so AB equals 26.9, and you also have this angle alpha. Like I'm hoping that you see that they're easy calcs. The thing is, you're just gonna like sort of draw it down, try and figure out what have I got, try and figure out where can I split the cable, where can I take moments about, see, see how many formula that you can come up with. <coughs> If we, because at, at this point, you know, when we've got RA, RAV, we could have put that back into, into that formula there. We could have worked out what RAH is, or you could do that as a check, just to make sure that your, your calcs are all correct. Let's, let's move on through this cable. So I'm just drawing out the cable again. So RAV is 10, RAH is 25, and RA is Playing around with the, the dimensions, if we know this angle now of, of 21.8, we don't know what this distance from A to B is. We know this length here of 2.5. So that, that length there is 2.5 tan 21.8, so that's one meter. So that's point B. And then from B down to C, we know that we have this distance from A all the way down to C, that's 1.5. So therefore we know that from B to C, that that distance is 0 0.5 meters. Because that is 
2.5. We can work out what beta is. So again, it's just playing around with the Trigonometry. <laughs> to work out what BC is, what we'll do, we'll, we'll analyze C. So we've got BC, that's point C, and that it was our. <laughs> H and at point C there's a five kilonewtons coming down. So H was twenty five. That angle there was eleven point three. So if we resolve horizontally or vertically to try and find what BC is. So I'm going to resolve horizontally. So I've got <coughs> 25 <coughs> equals BC cos 11.3. BC is 25.5. From our first, at the very, very beginning, BC equals DE, so we now know what DE is, and we know what AB is, and that's the same as EF, so you've got the tension in all of the cables. That works if the, if the, um, the cable is in equilibrium, where all of the forces are the same, all the distances are the same, and your reactions a and F are at the same level. Any questions on? Really, it's about sitting down, having a go yourself, trying to figure out, can I get through this? If you get stuck, see if you can split it somewhere else. Take moments about different points, take some of your forces horizontally, vertically, end up with a number of simultaneous equations, put one into the other, try and work out what the forces are. Like to make these um, questions more difficult, they, they don't give you the distances down to particular points. Sometimes you might not be given what the, the forces are, and you might be given what the reactions are, and you've got to work out what force the cables can take based upon given reactions. In terms of um, the, the complexity that we get to, we might drop A and F, the, um, a, dis a vertical distance between them, so therefore you won't have s symmetry th throughout. So therefore you'd have to work out what the force is in each cable. Personally, I find in the exam when people see a cable like this, they get put off by it. But it is very easy if you <coughs> practice them, get get your head around them. So please um, use the tutorial seminar sessions to to work through these
Anderson. Within your handout, rather than sort of going through another example that feels exactly the same, you've been given this example. So we'll go through this quickly on the screen just to, to make sure that you can get, get your head around how it's sorted. So the only difference this time is that we have a, a vertical distance between A and E of 0 0.5. So again, if I was going to be taking like a methodical approach through this, I would take moments around A in order to get my E reactions. Now I'll take moments around E to get my A reactions. Then I would look to see what other distance do I know vertically. Now in the last example, we knew our vertical distance down to C. So if we split it at um, C, we knew how to figure it out. This time we know the vertical distance down to B. <coughs> Therefore, we will be splitting at B. We can't split at C because we, we just won't be able to take moments around and try and figure out what the, the, um, the perpendicular distance is from C all the way up to A, H. So this page just showing, again, that you can split your reactions into horizontal and vertical. And because we know the distance from A down to B, we can take moments around B. Now, because this cable BC, um, again, whenever you split through a cable, you have to consider the force of it. So we have got the force BC, but if we take moments around B, then we ignore this force. And what we're left with is a, a horizontal distance to our RAV and, um, and a vertical distance of 2.6 to our RAH. So we've got our first equation with two unknowns in. If we take moments around A, we will also get a formula with our known forces, but we've got two unknowns, RAV and RAH. We end up with a second equation because we've got two simultaneous equations. Put one into the other and you'll be able to find out what RAH is and RAV. Once you've got them, then you can work out what the reaction is. So our reaction ends up being 10.98, which is also the force in AB. And you can also work out what the, the angle is. Once you know the angle, then you know that you know the horizontal and sort of vertical distances down to B. Once we've finished um, getting our A, B, you'll find that the question just goes through to the next um, point B, starts resolving forces, moves along to the next point, moves along to the next point. And it just takes the example, um, it, it's like going through a number of vectors, equations. So you've got all of the, the solutions there and the answers. So this is like a, a one, maybe to set yourself as a bit of a challenge to see whether you can get through it. See if, you can, um, see if you can work it out by yourself. The complicated part <coughs> of this, um, maybe it's for those who haven't got their head around the, the trig in the maths, we've got two, two um, 
equations. We've got TB, TBC cos beta. We don't know what TB is, TBC, and we don't know what beta is. And then we've got another equation. We don't know what BC is again, and we don't know what beta is. What you can do, you can divide one by the other in order to end up with an equation with tan. So if you divide one of the equations by the other, you remove the TBCs and sine beta over cos beta is tan beta. Tan beta equals the 2.98 over 9.21. This is the um, this is probably the, the main sort of co complicated part of this of this of this question. So again, you've got two two equations. If you can't get your head around this, there are other solutions to, um, to, to work through the the cable without having to do this. But it uses this example um, twice, <coughs> both at um, at B and then at C. So again, it's just taking you've resolved the forces at B horizontally and vertically, you've divided one by the other to remove our unknown TBC. We don't know what beta is, but if we do sine divided by cosine, we end up with tan beta. Our tan is 2.98 over 9.21. <coughs> so we can work out what beta is. Once we know what beta is, then we can work out what the distance is down from A down to C, and if we can do exactly the same thing, because we don't know what the distance D is below A also. So I've tried to, as clearly as I, as I can, to explain this in the calcs. I've put them all out, out there in your, in your notes. Rather than going through another example straight away, what we'll do, you'll, we'll have a go at one, I think. That would be the, the better thing to, to do. Right, as far as I know, I haven't given you the solution for this. <coughs> this question. Okay, do you want to have a go at this question here? I'm asking, but you are. I'm going to have a go at, uh, at this question. So just as a, as a few little steps, so again we've got our cable, it doesn't extend in length, there is no moment that's passed from one section of the rope to the other. We can split our reactions into our vertical and horizontal. Do we know the distances down to any of the, any of the points? Yeah, we know the we know that distance there is twelve. Twelve meters. So 
So if I was going to methodically work through this, I would probably consider the whole first. So I would take moments around A. That, remo that removes AX, AY. AX is passing through that point. And then I know all of my horizontal distances to all of the forces. So I, I can find out what EY is. I, I can take moments around E. That will remove EX, EY, and AX. Mm -hmm. 